Hey guys, this is Learning with Michelle, and today we are going to be finishing session one of the 2022 grade three mathematics state exam. So for this video, the first question is number 16. The shaded part of the model below represents a fraction. Which figure is shaded to, to represent a fraction equivalent to the model shown? So it's basically asking which of these answer choices show a fraction that's equal or equivalent to this fraction up here. So this fraction up here, there are one, two, three, four, four parts, and two of them are shaded. So this fraction shows two over four. So we just have to figure out which fraction each of the answer choices show, and we have to see if they're equivalent. So for A, it shows one, two, three, four, five, six. Six parts, and four of them are shaded. Four six is equal to, if you divide both of these by two, and by these I mean numerator and denominator, if you divide both of them by two, you get two over three, which is not equal to two over four. So A is not the correct answer. For B, it shows one, two, three, four, five, six. Six pieces, and two of them are shaded. If you divide both the numerator and denominator by two, you get one over three, which is not equal to two over four. So B is not the correct answer. For C, it shows one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight parts and two of them are shaded and this is equal to one-fourth because um if you divide both the numerator and denominator i mean if, in case you didn't catch that if you didn't i mean if you divide the numerator and denominator by two you get one over four not one over two let me just erase that 1 over 4, which is still not equal to 2 over 4, so it's not C. And that leaves us with D. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 8 pieces here. And how many of them are shaded? Well, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 parts shaded. If you divide both the numerator and denominator by 4, you get 1 over 2. Or you could, you don't have to divide it completely, by the way. This is actually going to give you more time, so my apologies. If you divide both parts, and by parts I mean numerator and denominator, by 2, you get 2 over 4. So D is the answer for question 16. Moving on to the next question. So we have Greg walked one mile from his home to a store. After walking two six miles, he stopped to smell a flower. After walking another three six miles, he stopped to tie his shoe, which number line correctly shows the locations where Greg smelled the flower and where he tied his shoe. So we have like four number lines and we have to figure out which number line shows the locations where he stopped to smell flower and where he stopped to tie his shoe. So we have this. There's six parts in this number line. One, two, three, four, five, six. This entire number line has to represent how many miles away from his home the store is. So it's, this whole number line represents one mile. After walking two six miles, he stopped to smell a flower. 
one, two. Let's. Hmm. So we have a flower here. I was trying to find the stamp for a flower, but I couldn't really find it. So all of this will be hand drawn and authentic. And after walking another three six miles, he stopped to tie his shoe. After walking another three six miles, so it's not here. It's three more lines after this. One, two, three. So he tapped to I mean he stopped to tie his shoe. This is a very poorly drawn shoe, but it will have to do. So let's look at the answer choices to see which one matches the number line we have here. Over here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six parts. So that's good. The flower is actually on the first tick mark, which means he stopped to tie his shoe after one six miles, which is incorrect. So A is not the correct answer. For B, it shows one, two, three, four, five, six, six miles. He stopped to smell a flower after two six miles. One, two. So that's good. After another three six miles, he stopped to tie his shoe. One, two, three. B. It's a possible answer, but let's check the other ones. In C, it shows one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pieces. It does not show six pieces, and there's no way we can make something out of eight equivalent to like something out of six. Like, so it's not C. I mean, you can, but like, there's only one option, which is four eighths, and there's no. And there's not really like a one half option in the question, so it's not C. And for D, it also shows one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is also incorrect. So we are left with B as our answer. Now we have the first question. Let me just see if it's the first question. Yeah, it's the first question from the session two, 2022 grade three mathematics state exam. So we have the question, which rectangle is divided into four equal parts? Equal basically means that they're all the same size. So let's see, let's use process of, elim of elimination. For A, we have one, two, three, four pieces. That looks good. But the piece at the top, it's not equal to the rest because it's way thinner and way longer, so it's not A. For B, there are one, two, three, four pieces, and they're all equal, so this could be a possible answer. For C, there are one, two, three, four pieces, but the second and the fourth piece are completely different than the first and the third pieces, and that can't be happening when we want equal parts, so it's not C. For D, we have one, two, three, four parts, but um, the second and the fourth part are completely different from the first and the third parts, which we cannot have when finding equal parts in a rectangle, or any shape for that matter. So the correct answer is me okay guys that was it for today i hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful please subscribe and like for more math content and i will see you guys in the next video bye